Welcome back, fifth graders. All right today, we are going to take some notes before starting our work. So, on a blank piece of paper, you know, whether it's in your math spiral or just a notebook paper, we want to title it 25 by 96 multi Strategy Review. So, it's just the title of the page that you see up here, and I'll put it in a box. Okay. So while you title that, just a couple quick reminders. Um, if at any point the video goes too fast, just hit pause and scoot back the time, right? So that you can pick up. And you can do that as many times as you need. It's the great thing about videos, right? So we are going to start with the doubling and halving strategy. So under your title, go ahead and write doubling and halving. This has actually been something that's happened in ratio tables for problem strings, but we're just gonna keep it as equations this time. To double and half to find your multiplication answer, you're going to double one factor and half the other until you wind up with an easier combination, okay? So this could happen maybe once, maybe twice, or you could take it all the way until you half something to one. It just kind of depends. But for this one, 25 times 96, we're going to start with our doubling. And I'm going to double my odd number, the 25, to a 50. And you want to try to keep it in the same order just to keep it consistent. Okay. So we doubled 25, and now we're going to half the other number, which is 96. So 96 halved is 48. Right, those aren't really easier to multiply, so we're going to keep going. And I'm going to double the 50 again to 100. I'm going to have 48 to 24. That is a much easier combination, 100 times 24. We could do that in our head, because all I have to really think about is 24 times 1. And then the zeros just kind of follow it. So that is much simpler than 25 times 96. Again, if you need to pause, that is perfectly fine, and then press play when you're ready for the next strategy. The next one we're going to look at is ratio tables. So go ahead and make a little subtitle ratio table and sketch one out real fast. Okay, to look like the one on the screen. We're going to set up a table on which you build up one of the numbers, build up to the number of times you want to multiply one factor by the other. So basically what we're doing is finding multiples. So I'm going to start off with one, oops, I made a mark, times 96. Okay, because that was one of our factors. And we're going to build it up until we get a 25 at the top because that is the other factor. So right away when I start with a 1, I'm probably always going to go on to 10 next just because it's a very simple problem. So 1 times 10 was 10. 10 times 96 is 960. Okay. Remember, we're trying to get to 25. So we're, let's double that 10 to a 20. And if we doubled 960, I'll show my work off to the side. It's always good to work it out. Ooh, it's a very large number. It's 1,000, and I'm going to have to write it sideways to fit, 900. 20. Okay, we're up to 20, but we need 25. So I could easily find 25, not 25, 5, by halving the 10 amount. So I need to take half of 960 or half of 96, which was 48. We did that earlier. And then we're going to add that zero back on there. Now I can combine these two to get 25, combine the bottom two 
to get our answer 2,400. And I kind of went over into the next ratio table area, but that's okay, because we're done. So if we can compare, we have 2,400, right? And then we, when we use the doubling halving, we have the same thing, okay? All right, our next strategy is over strategy. So make a little subtitle of that. I'm going to point it out. All right, so for an over strategy, use a nearby friendly combination and then subtract the extra set. That sounds very complicated, but we'll work through it. So a nearby friendly combination, just, just a reminder, we had 25 times 96. Hmm. Well, 25 is an okay number, so I'm going to keep that. But I'm going to change that 96 to a 100. That's much friendlier. So the difference here was four groups of 96. Okay, I went from 96 to 100. So I like to make a little note. Okay, so we can quickly do 25 times 100. That'll equal 2,500. Ooh, that's really close to the answer we got earlier. Okay, so we are at 2,500, and I misspoke a second ago. It is not four groups of 96. We have four extra groups of 25. So if I think four times 25 is 100, I'm going to subtract that from here to get back to our answer. Okay, so that is the over strategy. It's a little tricky but it's definitely helpful. Again, if you need more time, go ahead and pause, or if you need to go back through the problem, just rewind the video and pick back up. Okay, the next strategy is using quarters, and we are actually not going to cover that, so you don't need to write that down. We're gonna skip to partial products. So your next subtitle, is partial products. Okay, so basically we're gonna break this down and see how the standard algorithm works, which will be the last one we will talk about. So remember, when we do multiplication and it's stacked, you always start with the lowest place value, which is that five. I'm gonna go up and over, so five times six, and I'm going to erase that arrow so I have room, is 30. Next, I'm going to take 5 times 90, because that is technically 90, to equal 450. All right, we've multiplied 5 by everything on the top, so we scoot over and look at the 20. That's not just a 2, that's a 20. We're going to multiply it by 6 to equal 120. <clears throat> and then our last one is 20 times 90, which is 1,800. If we took a minute and added all that up, we would still get 2,400. Okay. If you need a moment longer, I want to go back through that pause and rewind. And then we're going to move on to our last strategy, which was standard algorithm. So your last subtitle, okay, is standard algorithm. We're just going to work through this like we normally would. Okay, so we're going to start down here at the bottom right and work up and then over. So five times six is 30. We write a zero, carry the three. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 3 more is 48. 
always drop your zero because we are moving place values and then I like to mark out what I used. Next we're going to look at 2 times 6 which is 12. Then 2 times 9 plus 1 more is 19. We want to add those up, make sure they're lined up, and we will get the same total we got for all of this, 2,400. All right, I would keep these notes handy. They are going to be very valuable as we move through the rest of the lesson and module. Thanks for watching.